Well, welcome to the British Shooting Show, and it's not all about the manufacturers and the distributors. It's an absolute pleasure to be with Mike Kay today. Um, you may well describe this as the world's finest collection of Winchester guns. Michael, I, we, we are just so pleased that you have this on display for the public. It, it, it's an enormous draw. Uh, I'm not quite sure how to put it into words. It is a collection of fine art. I think so. I mean, for I don't look on them as firearms, they're more like an artistic thing. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. for, for, for you guys out there that um, do have collections, and I'm sure you can understand where, where I'm going with this, these are just absolutely stunning. And thank yeah. you very much indeed for, My pleasure. for sharing them with us. My pleasure. Um, how did it start, Michael? <laughs> I've always been a Western fan. Yeah. I've always been a big John Wayne fan. And about 20 odd years ago, I acquired my first John Wayne Winchester, and that set the seed. And from then on, it just became a bug. I, it's an addiction. I just have to have the finest Winchesters I can get my hands on. I mean, they and that's are, where it's gone. Oh, come on, you know, as you're looking around about 21. <laughs> I wish I was. <laughs> how, many, how many years has it taken to, to put a collection like this together? Well, I've been shooting since 1966, continuously. Yeah. But it's taken me about 25 years to put this together. Has it really? Yeah. It, it leaves you speechless. They are just, they, they are just beautiful. Okay, do you have a favourite? I suppose I do. And it's the one in the green case, which is the one of a thousand. Is it really? They're so rare, it's not true. Everything on it is hand engraved. Even the screws are engraved as flowers. They, it's they, an incredible piece of art. They, they are beautiful. I mean, the, the crowds behind us, um, I think, well, it's, it, you could say it's a bit of a showstopper, really. <laughs> it's, it's, quite, it's quite amazing. Um, anything else in your collection that you're looking for? I'm always looking, but it's very, very difficult these days to find it. Is it? Once Winchester Repeating Arms closed down a few years ago, yeah. all this stuff disappeared. And people like me that have got it won't part with it. Mm. They won't sell it because there's nothing they can get to replace it. Sure. So, very rarely the odd one comes up, but it's nearly all in America. And because of the anti-terrorism laws these days, very, very difficult to get firearms out of America. I was lucky that most of this stuff came out before they, they put those sort of bans on it. Yes. I'm a member of the Winchester Arms Collectors Association of the USA. I travel over there to the annual general meeting over there every year. Mm. I've made contacts over there and if it wasn't for my contacts, I wouldn't have this. Because you cannot find this stuff. It's beautiful. It, 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 it is beautiful. I'm just looking at some of the side pistols. Yeah. Um, even, th even through to the, to the gun on the end, which uh, I see he's in, a, in one of the war movies. Yeah. Just explain that one to me. Well, obviously we can't have Thompsons in this country, but I had that one built specially for me. Right. It's an exact replica of the standard Thompson, but it's in 2-2. Is it really? Yeah, and, it, it, and nobody believes it isn't. It, it looks the real thing. Fantastic. So, I normally stick with my cowboy stuff, but for that particular piece, because of the John Wayne connection, it's got a 1911, it's got a Luger, and it's got a Thompson in the case. Fantastic. Michael, thank you very, very much indeed You're welcome. for being here. Thank mm -hmm. you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you.